What's up, nerds? It's time for Unmuted. We got your gaming and esports hot topics, hot tweets, and the spiciest memes. What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. Uh, let's run it down for anyone who's <laughs> new here. We're going to present a bunch of goodies that we've gathered, which we'll discuss, argue, yell at one another, insult each other. But lucky <laughs> for us, there's also this mute button right here, which we can each press once to shut the other up. That's right. Remember, we like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting truth. So let's get right to it. So for our first story, let's dive into the Fortnite World Cup and see what the audience thinks of cheaters. During the duos tournament at the World Cup, notorious cheater Exif and his partner Ronaldo were heavily booed the moment they appeared on camera. As a refresher, the duo were banned for two weeks by Epic Games after they were caught cheating. The boos were loud, but louder still was the cheers that shook the arena when they were eliminated. Exif took to Twitter to thank his supporters and reaffirmed that he's going to keep getting better. Ooh, AJ, spicy. Uh, do you think that reaction was justified? Uh, yeah. Really? Why are they letting people who cheated into a tournament? <gasps> Period. Why weren't they banned for life? I don't okay. understand this. Okay, okay, but I oh, think... Oh, you just cheated in the game once? <laughs> That's okay. You can keep playing, and we're going to invite you to our tournament? Well, they didn't invite... He what qualified. What supporters is they he talking about? He qualified. He legitly... Uh, he qualified. He, like, he played in the qualifiers. They served the two-week ban, so he served his time, and then they qualified for it. It's not like they invited him without merit, okay? So he did earn his place there. Yeah, they earned his place there. You can say, oh, yeah, you qualified legitimately. We still don't want you to be in our <gasps> community because you're a cheater. Really? You think they should be more strict with cheaters like that? No. Absolutely, especially chance. if you're like a public face and you can put an identity to someone. I, I, this is the other part that gets me. He thanked his supporters. Who's out there still supporting a cheater? Well, they got signed to a team, so there's that. Like a team actually picked them up. How is this happening? I I don't know. I don't know in Fortnite it's because it's a new esport, so the like cheating is just, you know, part of the beginning of it. No. But they were accused of farming kills. And I'm not even sure if the proof was like hundred percent. You know what I mean? It was like speculated, but they didn't necessarily could prove it. So they served okay. two weeks. Hold on a second. It was like so really gray zone. So was the cheating more like cheating within the confines of the game or were they using like hacks no it wasn't hacks but they were being accused of farming kills which is basically planting people so that they can kill them so that their stats are better do you know what i mean but oh, it's so like hearsay you okay. can't really prove necessarily there's no like paper trail right there's no like cash trail so it was like just bad rep and to be fair he did he was suspected recently again at a recent tournament for doing the same thing but there was no proof for that either so it's like just a lot of bad press no 100 percent proof but um you know what? I kind of feel bad. Like, he served the time. Yeah. I want to give space for people to improve. Like, people make mistakes, right? So there should be room for people to improve. I agree, but I... Uh, yeah. When it's cheating in the video game. You know what's annoying about this, though? It's like, yeah, so there's a lot of cheating allegations against this guy, but he qualified, and now just for qualifying, he, like, leaves with a million bucks. Just for competing at the World Cup, you literally, even if you're, like, 50th, right. pla 50th place... Gotta move on before I have an annual... You get, like, $100,000! Just over a couple of weeks ago now, uh, Twitch streamer <laughs> Alinity came under fire after a video emerged showing her throwing her cat over her head and spitting vodka into its mouth. So many people complain, both to Twitch and elsewhere, that Alinity's local Animal Cruelty Prevention Society looked into it. They're ruling that she was not malicious and that she was remorseful. To say people are upset would be a bit of an understatement, and many people are calling for Twitch to permanently ban her. Lisa, do you think Twitch should uh, have banned Alinity? Okay, controversial stance. I think Twitch was right in not banning her. The only reason, obviously I'm not saying what she did was right. However, I looked up the community guidelines and there is no, nothing about animal cruelty in there. So based on their own <laughs> rulings, technically they can't- Hold on a second. Hold on. This is one of those things you often see this meme on, on the internet about uh, morality. Legality does not equate morality. I was kind of with you until you said, oh, because there's nothing in the rules about against animal cruelty, then yeah, they, they shouldn't ban her. Well, so what? You could add animal cruelty into it and institute a ban for animal cruelty as well. The question really is whether this was animal cruelty, and I think maybe we both agree that this isn't animal cruelty necessarily. She's definitely doing some things with the animal that she shouldn't have done. But I don't know if was I would say- Was the kiss consensual? Didn't want vodka? You're right, it's not, it was- 
it's it's borderline cruelty for no. sure. There's like, you well, know. Well, the, 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 the cruelty, what's it? The board that looked into her said that her pets are fine. Okay, yeah. it like they looked into it um, before I got cut off rudely. First of all, my point is, I don't think to, it's fair for Twitch to just make up rules in response. Like they should. But that's how you generate your rule set. Next you time they set a precedent. Now they're like, you know what? Looking into this, works. looking into this, you're right. Like we don't want to have be a brand where people can be cruel to their animals like this. Yeah. And yeah, okay, put that rule in and then enact it afterwards, right? Yeah. The fact that like it wasn't a rule. If she knew maybe it was a rule, she wouldn't have done it. You know what I mean? Like it's unfair to then punish her for. A rule that didn't exist at the time but now they totally should put a rule in and enforce it afterwards that's what i'm saying Agreed. okay and the throwing the cat over had I, I i saw that clip i don't you know you can throw cats from a fairly high distance what? They, they land on their feet it's scientific like they you have didn't a great see even landing on their feet what if it has a weak <sighs> ankle i suppose <laughs> you don't like, know aj like people you play with their dogs and there. throw them from like you know AJ, stop before Five you get us in up. trouble. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> on Friday, stop it. On Friday, Bethesda surprisingly revealed the first three Doom games to consoles. I should mention that Doom came out in 1993, a great year I was born then, uh, which is important for the following reason. You have to log into a Bethesda account in order to gain access to everything from all three of these games. None of these games have an online component, yet in the case of Doom 3, you need to sign in every time to play. Um, uh, okay, so what do you think about the fact, there's like little parts here. One, the fact that they made the login mandatory. Though to be fair, Bethesda did go back and say, you know what, um, that was our mistake. We're gonna fix that part. Oh, good. That part they fixed. But the whole signing on for a game that's not even online, like what's the point of that? It does seem <laughs> a little bit weird, but we're existing in this odd space right now where so many of these retro games are kind of becoming popular again. If people want to go back and relive their nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be kind of fun to get with, get together with my buddies and play some of these games that we used to play at LAN parties so long ago, although by the time I was actually doing LAN parties, Quake was the game, not, not oh. Doom. So Quake was 97, not 93. <laughs> Uh, 98. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just dating myself here. Yeah, Why does always tired. happen opposite well, you? Because your stories all come from the young from one. A really I'm the old, old one. Yeah. Um, it's a good yeah, dynamic. But, like, why do they need to put the the locking it in with the digital, you know, sign-in thing? Yeah. It just seems totally counterproductive. For it's people almost who just so want to obvious these games. that they're trying to fish for information from you. Like, they just want you in their database. They want you when they're for their marketing emails. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they just want all your information of what you're up to all the time, ads. that sort of thing. Yeah. Like, how else are they going to make money, guys? This is really I, the point I here. Guess. They got to make you're money, not really right? You're going to get your ad pop-ups during Doom, but they <laughs> do this with so many games that have these unnecessary online components, like SimCity a couple of years back, where they put that out and were like, "Yeah, you need to be online in order to play this," and everyone was upset because SimCity is a perfect game of not. Being needing online. an online game. It's a single solitary experience of just managing your, your yeah. city. So Unless, maybe, conspiracy theory, they're planning some online component soon. And this is just, you to know. To add to June <laughs> from 1993? You don't know. You don't I mean, know. I'd be excited about That's that. That's how they make idea. money. Games, I feel like, you know, you want to be successful, have a lot of players on it. You got to make it online. You got to make it accessible to the whole world. Yeah. I'm on to you. Let's see the Doom World Championships. Where it's, it can't be doomed, They right? allow this cheaters idea. in next year. Let's see. Oh, right. my God. Our last story is all about battle passes. Specifically, how often should they be updated? In the case of Dota Plus, Valve's subscription service for Dota 2, it's been a very long time. Despite multiple patches changing how heroes work, the quests and rewards remain unchanged, making it very difficult to complete certain challenges. People have even canceled their subscriptions because of the lack of updates. Lisa, how often should a battle pass be updated to be useful? Do you think most battle passes are good or are most bad like Dota Plus? I mean, I have to be full <laughs> transparency. I don't own a battle pass for any game because I'm really I cheap, so I don't spend money on these things. I am the same, Lisa. Really? It's going to be a bit of a difficult uh, conversation. Here's the thing. they're, they're uh, I'm surprised with you. I thought you would. You seem like a battle pass kind of guy. No, I've never. I don't see the Apex? appeals. I mean, Apex, PUBG, I don't <gasps> care. It's all about cosmetic stuff that doesn't improve your gameplay, and I don't care what I look like whoa, in a game. Whoa, whoa, okay, that's, I don't know if that's true, because people always say you, f you look good, you feel good, you right. play good. Well, I mean, right? I, you know, I make my selection of what skin or which cosmetic items from the base amount, but like in PUBG, there's, you know, a set of black clothes, and I just go like, yeah, all these, you know, just make, <laughs> make me, you know, harder to see in shadowed areas. <laughs> oh like, my God. I don't care about being fancy dancy, and what <laughs> In Overwatch, I just accumulate a lot of points and spend those on 
what I want to wear. Yeah. I don't care about this battle pass But what stuff. about the leveling up aspect of it? If you're not caring about cosmetics... It doesn't affect your in-game um, play, oh. and that would be unfair. That would be uh, giving advantage to anyone right. who's got the money to spend on the thing. So, mm. so as far as I know, most battle passes when it comes to games are all about just, here's a bunch of cool cosmetic stuff that you can unlock, so yeah. you can, you know, seem really cool to your friends, guy. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> cool, bro. I think being cool to your friends is saying, like, I don't, I don't care. You guys like me for me, not what I wear and well, wear in the game. Oh, wow. That just got really inspirational. Um, okay, we may not be Battle Pass fans. However, for those who are into it, I think it makes sense for Battle Passes to be updated every time a patch comes out. Just, I know that's often enough, but it makes sense because if the meta's changing, characters yeah. are changing, why would you not match your Battle Pass with that? It's like just logically. Patches can be sense. with some games every two weeks. Some games even yeah. every one week they re release a patch. So I don't know if you want to have a new Battle Pass every one week. You have your weekly like challenges and stuff yeah, in games. But you but want people to play the game and Battle Pass is supposed <sighs> to do that. But if there's no point of it, then what's the point? Like if you're not updating it to get people to, I said point a lot, but you know what I mean, right? I, think I got your point, point. though. Okay. <laughs> you guys let us know in chat what you think. All right, because yeah. it's time to move on to Clip It. Our first clip comes from Blazing Oak Gaming and his complete lack of computer knowledge. Reduce what? Oh, take slow off? Um, yeah, I can take followers only off. What's the command for that? Uh, damn it. Anyone knows the command to take off followers only? Let me know. I don't know all my commands yet. How do I do that, uh, cargo shorts? It's mellowed down quite a bit. Alt 4F, I'll try it. All right, Alt F4. <laughs> Got him! Okay. Oh, it's one of my favorite tricks to play on people in game. I've never seen it happen to a streamer before though. You you play that trick on people? Oh, if anyone ever asks what the command is, Alt F4 is the de facto response. Really? Yeah, because if you don't know what Alt F4 does, you have no business being in a computer game. Like that's just bad, though. the de facto. I, I honestly can't fault him. I'm like similar to him. Like I'm actually so technologically challenged mm. that I actually feel for him there. But like he was Would so you innocent. fall for Alt F4 now? No, I, okay, no, from a random on the internet, I wouldn't fall <laughs> for it, but I would be like, how do you do this? How do you do that? You know what right. I mean? Uh, I wouldn't do anything people on the internet tell me because that's just, you know, dangerous. You yeah. know what I mean? So I'm, I have that street smart going for me. Right. This man, Trusting, though. Yeah, viewers, when you ask, how do I do that command? Alt F4. <laughs> yeah, that's Aww, I feel control bad for Q. Him. Well, he are... learned the lesson the hard way. Hmm? You know, he learned the lesson the hard way. Yes. Now he knows. So All right. Do that. Well, our next clip comes from Allie Moran, who decided to interview some of her subs, including, oh boy, I love this name, XX420 Lettuce6969 XXX. He had an unexpected cameo during his big moment in the spotlight. Because I used Monopoly money to get the McDonald's, which was a joke. But the McDonald's employee didn't figure it out. So when I used the, McDo when I used the Monopoly money to get the McDonald's. Bullshit story. Dad, I'm, on, <laughs> I'm being interviewed. Hey! McDonald's. I use my mouth. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? My mic on. Hold on. What's up? I'm on. Mom, I'm on the internet. I'm on the internet, mom. I can't wait till you move out. I'm on the internet. Please. I'm just hanging out. I'm on the internet. No, I mean, there is just something seriously wrong with you. He, Come on. He needs mental help. I'm on the internet. Oh, oh my god, there's so it's, much to dig into that clip. I... It's almost so good that it seems almost planned. Really? Why are I you so know. cynical? Why are you so cynical? Why can't we have nice things? Why can't we just believe that was real? That well, was pure if, entertainment. If it is real, then his parents' sentiments were real, and then what is this guy's real problem? Like. I don't know, was he hey, smart enough to coordinate with his folks? Like, no. it would be funny if you cameoed in my video and started, like, calling me out while I'm being interviewed by this big streamer. What do you mean? It's, it's so crazy for you to believe that parents are really cruel to their kids and say things like that all the time. My mom criticizes me all the time. It's a real thing. Really, AJ? Yeah, my parents were fairly supportive for the most part. Oh, you know, my. We got our differences. But God. I don't know. You got to make sure that your parents don't interrupt you when you're streaming. Honestly, a little criticism is good for you. I think my parents really raised me strong mm. to handle criticism. Mm -hmm. um, so that clip was gold. I think it was real. 
But the fact I'm on the internet, that was line she, actually sounds a little fake. Was that she one. laughing at him or with him? Uh, it doesn't matter. Both. Both? Probably both. All right. Time to move on because it's the best time of the day when we troll through the Twitterverse to bring you all the things Pearls bless us from their timeline. The first post comes from League of Legends player Amazing who shared a way for you to level up your fanciness. He said... If you drink sparkling water, you automatically become 50% more sophisticated. Mmm. Mmm, okay. I, I do enjoy some sparkling water. We call it fuzzy water around my house. <laughs> fuzzy water. Bring me some fuzzy so water, my wife says, and I, I oblige. Are you actually, te you like sparkling water? Sure, and you know what we also do? Oh, no. Uh, my wife's amazing. She's made some syrups. So you put in a little bit of homemade syrup with your uh, sparkling water. She made uh, strawberry basil and uh, peach... Oh god, what's the other like spice you put in the peach one? Rosemary, maybe? I don't know. You don't they're pay attention. Tasty, whatever they are. <laughs> yeah. That sounds amazing. You guys yeah. should be selling this in jars. Actually, all right. I'll see you later. I got oh, new business. Wait, no, wait, started. wait. Oh, no, yeah, it's a good idea though. No, I actually hate sparkling water. I, I remember no, in you Europe. No, flavor it. No, though. no. Well, then that's just soda, guys. It's it not is. sparkling water. That's yeah, different. It's Italian soda. When you go to Europe, super tasty. they always give you sparkling water, and yeah. I'm like. No, can I just get the tap stuff? And they look at me weird. It's like, no, you're weird, okay? The fizz makes everything better. Moving on, Fortnite Pro Snoo took to Twitter to share something that got him very excited. You know you've made it when you do this. Guys, I sang three very handsome ladies' foreheads. Yes! <clears throat> wow, wow. Uh, have you, uh... Met Snood? I have, I have. How'd that go? Yeah, he signed my, no, it was my <laughs> forehead he signed. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, uh, no, though yeah. I am very handsome. Yeah. Um, no, Snood's amazing, he's a really sweet guy. He's so young, you right. know, he's like Most 16. Most pro players Fortnite are. Fortnite pros are very young. Um, yeah. That's really cute that he I took to Twitter. I think to, I've ever signed a forehead. No? no? What's the weirdest place you've signed, if any? That you can talk about. I think. I think I probably signed someone's butt once. I feel what like. What do you that, think? How do you like? It not wasn't remember? like bare butt. It was like someone's pants. I feel Is like that not maybe. Worse? Well, you know, I was like, this isn't really gonna show up to anyone, but he's like, now I can tell the story of the time that AJ signed my butt. I but was it wasn't like, whatever, butt, man. If he actually pulled his pants down, would you have done it? I don't know if I would've done, done a bare butt. No. 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 Okay, I guess you yeah. have standards. Yeah. Oh. No. Well, I guess. Well, there goes that opportunity. I was going to, you know. What? Uh, no, I'm kidding. All right, it's time for our last profound thought. And in this one, we're seeing two worlds collide. Overwatch player XQC took to Twitter to shout out your friendly neighborhood tech engineer. XQC said, hey, Elon Musk, my community and I would love to learn about rockets and live stream a tour at SpaceX. It would be amazing. Maybe some Overwatch duos after? I like how you slipped in that last part there, uh, right. casually. Uh, what Does do you someone think of this play period? Overwatch? I, um, I just wonder what could go wrong if you let <laughs> XQC into uh, uh, SpaceX. Yeah. Um, I mean, it may probably be well toxic behaved. Toxic levels may go up. Exactly. You know, yeah. <laughs> nuclear warning. I don't know. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen. Um, yeah. Is there a celebrity that you would want to maybe do it with? That's kind of, you know, the question there. Who would be a fun one to duo with? I mean, I, I've done some duos with uh, with Ron Lee, who's, of course. Oh, yeah. He's a neighborhood celebrity. Yeah, He's a local yeah. celebrity in our books, for sure. I don't know if there are any, like, big celebs who regularly play Overwatch. They don't have to play. It can just be anyone you would want to play with. I mean, when I met Vin Diesel, he and I geeked out about World of Warcraft, so Whoa. I know he's, like, a big gamer geek, so... He might be in Overwatch. He might be fun to... That should be cool to play with him, hear his with. voice. His voice yeah. is so iconic through the intercoms yeah. like that. All right, guys, now we're going to... Yeah, he's got the <laughs> super super baritone voice. Can <laughs> that was really good. Better. All right, all right, let's move on because it's time to get to some crowd control. This is where we showcase some of the great or dankly things... Dankly? Danky things <laughs> that the community has been <laughs> making. King. That's a new word now. Our first post comes from Imager, or however you want to pronounce that word, yeah. Gundarian, showing us that avoiding all distractions is key to Mastering Street Fighter V. What is this? Oh! Uh, oh my god! Okay, um, the focus. Avoid the cat! Avoid the cute cat! Adorable. Oh my god! Who was better, Macro, the cat or the cat? <laughs> like, both oh, of them. Then there's another like cat who is just having none of it, but that is a remarkable focus. Ability to play two games at once. The cat game and the Street Fighter V. That was yeah. so cute! Oh my god, the cute levels on that one. Um, I've only ever had a spider land on my hand while gaming, <laughs> not a cat. And how did That's you deal with that? Too, did you like, like also eat legs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would shake me. I would run out of the house. 
It was, uh, yeah, it that was would, a moment, but, but you know, when you're F. focused, this must have been back playing like Battlefield 1942, so it was just like, <laughs> get off my hand. Oh, that, that's spider. intense. Con no, I'm out. I'm, I'm yeah. F right there. The sp moment spider's in my face, yeah. I'm out of there. Kill it with fire. It, it it. Yeah, anything. All right, a good thing about classics like Doom is that they re-release on various consoles, like we mentioned, but I bet you didn't know that it was also available on this. Oh! What? Yeah, do no way. Etch a sketch. Wait a second. Do you have to log in online? It's, uh, <laughs> it's one frame every uh, seven hours. But uh, man, when you uh, complete when you that get game, that, sense of accomplishment you're there. You're 100 years old. You have to drive reframe yourself. <laughs> but it's. Wait a second. That yeah. doesn't sound like fun. I don't know if you're an artist and you enjoy that sort of thing. Could you imagine if you did make that a stop motion short? Like how long that would take? Just even just to do one second of. An animated short and an extra sketch of the Doom game it would just be bonkers. Yo, but an amazing job. For real, for real. Major respect to that person. Yeah. Got a lot of time. To the Killing it. All right, moving on. Our last post is from Imager. <laughs> I, that word always trips me up. User. Imger. Street walking cheetah who shares a life lesson they learned from a video game. Okay. Just bought a, a safe, safe for valuables. valuables. Luckily, Fallout has taught me exactly what I should put in it. And he's got a Coke in there, one <laughs> bullet, and a little bit of money. A little cash. That's exactly what you'll find money. in most in Fallout vaults. Vaults? Yeah. Um, I see. I've actually never played Fallout before. So I is haven't that played that much. That's pretty much, yeah. That's what you do? You know, you're hoping for something more than that, but for the most part, it's that and a couple of bottle caps. That would have been the. <laughs> but that's uh, the currency, yeah, right? So that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, do, this is a random story, but you know in hotels, they always have those vaults? Uh, do you ever yeah. use them? Because, yeah. like, you do? Hey, yeah, store your valuables in there. Wait a so second. You shouldn't even be. Why? AJ just got his bike stolen recently, so I don't know if you're the right person to be asking about locking up I mean, valuables. Well, um, yes. The story. problem, the reason my bike got stolen is I forgot to lock it for the <laughs> first time ever. You should have put it in a vault. Yeah, I'll just go and install a giant vault for my bike on my front porch. There that you helps. go, bright ideas. We got them here for you. But Thanks for bringing it. that up to end the show. What? It's true. <laughs> That's it for Unmuted. Remember that you can always hit us up on our socials at Squad Stay just to say hi or send us stuff to react to. Until tomorrow, we'll see ya.